<laughs> yes. Greetings, greetings, everyone, and welcome to the Wednesday Night Warframe. It's time for some Space Robot Ninja Simulator. I hope everybody is awake now. <laughs> I am ready for some fun, ready for some action. Let's actually <laughs> go make sure Preacher's awake. Let's head on over to game footage and kick off a little bit more music. Um... Well, that's different. I guess you've missed a few a few live streams over the last couple of weeks, Hart. Um, yeah, so I am in Warframe. I have got one of my favorite frames, my absolute favorites, Mr. Hydroid Prime. We're going to be taking the Space Pirate out for a little bit of runs on some uh, cryotic missions. First, I'm going to refresh my brain. Venus? No. Mercury. Uh, mobile defense. Rescue. Capture. Okay, maybe it wasn't Mercury. I don't know. It's definitely not going to be Saturn. Um, defense. Rescue. Excavation. Yeah, I'm going to need your friends only. Okay, so we're going to do... Pluto. What? What about Pluto? That's the one you want. Why? Uh, Huracan is probably one of the better tier three ones to get the most stuff out of. Oh, okay. Pluto. Here we go. Huracan excavation. 33 to 45. That's going to get messy. Woo. Thank you for the bits, Hart. Get my eights in. Yeah, Sice is here with me. Uh, let me see. Invite squad members. Um, it says Sice is sitting at the menus, so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how you doing, Sice? How was your day? Uh, it was a day. It was a day. <laughs> An Oricon reactor run just came up. Oh, God. Spy infestation. Oh, man. You... Uh, if you want to run that, I'll grab my low key real quick. Okay. Apparently, I'm going to change from Space Pirate to Space Archer. Hey, man. Never turn down, never turn down a reactor, man. I know, right? Um... Let's see, do I still have, yep, I do, okay, awesome. Let's go be ninjas. You all ready? Yeah, you're ready. Oh yeah, I'm good. Okie dokie. Uh, what am I bringing? I can't remember. Oh yeah, Snapdragon Vandal and some throwing, throwing knives. Nom 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 nom. Nereid on Neptune. I cannot remember much about that map. I know what Talos have to expect, but still. Oh, we're one over from the index. Ooh. <laughs> I, I I hate the index so much. Uh, apparently, it's gotten better, but uh, I'm you know, I'm not sure where better is from Pure Evil. So. Uh, apparently, uh, mid risk index is the money maker these days. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll go do that, because I'm down to a paltry 2.1 million. Your mission is to break into any you have a thing on your back. Any files you find. Yes, I do. It's a okay, spinning it's thing. Sandana. My mom used to have that exact same thing, but you sit it in the middle of the dinner table and you put deviled eggs in it. <laughs> it looked exactly the same, though. Okay. Um, I am going to get... What do you want, A, B, or C? Uh, I'll take C. Okay, I'm gonna head to A. We can meet at B. Sounds like a plan. Uh, Tenno, be 
on the lookout for increased security measures. I'm just gonna bypass a whole bunch of these morons. Stuck in a crate. Oh. So many mindless idiots. Okay. Yeah, Avara's really good for these kind of missions, though. Uh, I think pretty much Avara's my favorite for just about any. That dash wire. Oh, I haven't powered Quiver. Which means uh, I have a dash <laughs> wire. Yeah, I have a dash wire that gives you 100% critical damage. Yeah, yeah it's, you combine it, that with uh, what is it? Focused, uh, the one that gives you one arrow on your bow. It's yeah, it's like seven. It, it gets, gets pretty. Crazy. Yeah, it gets pretty crazy. So. Here, dead camera. What? Go away! I, I don't want your. Let's blow up the Nipes. He's dead. That's dead. Go up here. Oh, that just goes around here. Ooh, okay. Okay. This is where I get to see if I have the right mods installed. One, two, three. Oh, never mind. It went off. Gross. Uh, I need to go around here. Yeah, I do have the right mods on for once. Ta-da! Um, Bagram has more credits than me. I'm impressed. My, I impre impress myself whenever I get two million credits. Uh, normally, I sit at about four to six, um, but there's been some expensive ventures for weapon crafting and upgrades and stuff like this lately. With no alarms. With no alarms. Uh, so, yeah, I burned about a million and a half on a couple of things. Like, you know, you get those primed cards and... Um, oh, crap. Did you get discovered? Uh, oh, data purge. 29 wire. seconds. I'm working on it. You're rusty, Sice. I haven't done a, I haven't done one of these in, like, forever, but don't worry. I got it. It was the, it was the one... It was the one right before the war, so... I love the fuselage over the despair, specifically because it's got a middle click, alt fire ability, that fires a spread of knives down a hallway. It's really good for clearing out tight corridors of a whole bunch of nasties. Oh yeah, I finally got one of those. The despair, yeah, I I don't have to keep six sets of blueprints for despair around just to taunt you. <laughs> I, I can't tease you about that anymore. You took that away from me. Darn you. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It only took I'm five away. years for it to drop. Yeah, no kidding, right? Only! You're dead. Eventually. Alright, I'm at B. Oh, you're at B? Oh, yeah, you are. You beat you beat me to it. <laughs> um, you have to remember Hart Vigram's the grand old man of Warframe. Kind of. I mean, technically, Sice and Matabase were playing longer than me, but I think I'm older than them. I'm not sure. And yes, I have learned and started to use the uh, the rolling trick on Avara. Yeah, it's really the only way to get around with her when you're in Prowl. Pretty much. I'm a, a Prowl addict on her. Oh. I'm just going to stand here and watch Sice hack his way through a door. There he is. Can't see him. Nice shot. It's my Attica. I've pimped it out for uh, Mag. I'll tell you, man. Magnetize plus the Attica kills almost anything. Yeah, I, I, I can buy that. Five knives and I still missed it. Wow. Wrong way. Are we going the wrong way? Oh. Yeah. Oh! 
Oh, wow, okay. something one shot me. Um, that's it. You're all dead to me. You're all dead to me. Well, I'm getting my energy back. That's a plus. Um, what? We go down? Yeah, we go down. Okay. Multiple biosignatures detected. We've got infested incoming. I finally broke down and started working on getting our canes. <coughs> ah, sneezes. Bad time. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. I got some butchers cleavers. I can't remember what they're called. You know which ones I'm talking about, right? Oh, the um, the cleaver weapons. Yeah, yeah, I can't. Uh, I'll tell you in here in a second. Hang on. But yeah, dual cleavers. Yeah, exactly. I got some dual cleavers yep. with the uh, syndicate card and a couple of other tricks, and uh, oh, they nice. are they're crit melee mayhem. It's awesome. Thank you, Breach. Yeah, crits, crits are way to go. So or, Sice is, uh, Yeah, Sice Heart says, so Sice has been having fun with Eidolons. I'm guessing that's the uh, arcane thing you were talking about? Yeah. 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 We're not going to talk about that. It's brutal. <laughs> uh, okay. I eventually, I eventually gave up at a point and started buying uh, the pieces I was missing to finish and stuff. So, okay, I'm going to uh, show something off on stream here. I'm going to show... And name my shame. I just made a Zaw two days ago. <laughs> and, okay, honestly, they suck. I really don't like them because I have a Zaw. If you'll notice, it only has a capacity of 30. Let's go put a upgrade on it. In the, oh, I can't. I haven't gilded it yet, whatever the heck that means. So you can't actually socket a reactor. Even if I paid cash to get a catalyst, even if I paid cash for a catalyst, and gave that money to DE, they still won't let me put that catalyst in an actual Zaw until you get to a certain level of reputation with the goofballs down in Cestron, and then they will gild it for you, which upgrades it. You can't recolor you know it either. You know what's dumb about that? What? Uh, I don't even think you actually get your XP until the second time around after it's gilded, after you gilded. Yeah, you don't. You don't uh, get any XP for upgrading, for leveling this thing up. Suddenly, I've lost all interest in Zaws, and uh, Cetus was getting some attention. Now I'm dropping that attention back down some. Uh, I don't care about the Zaws anymore, needless to say. Okay, um, let's go back to Senior Hydroid. If um, we're going to Pluto... Gonna be, it's going to be just you and me. You're going to do Hydra, which is a good area defense. Um, I mean, I could bring Korra if you want me to. Korra's dope at CC and area killing. Um, no, I think we'll be good. Or we, we'll be good. Could, or we could I'll, go I'll double Necros. And, we, I'll we, bring my Necros and we'll eventually have an army. We, yeah. we, could, we could go double Necros if you really want to get dumb. <laughs> I'm just saying, we will be swimming in drops. One of the things that's funny is uh, one of the uh, arcanes I was I was I managed to get together is this thing called Arcane Pulse. It's one of the more common ones. Yeah. And when I pick up a, a, a health orb, it has a chance to do a burst that will um, that will heal my party members. Cool. So uh, I'm gonna spoil Necros. So uh. <laughs> I, I'm just constantly <laughs> picking up. Uh, health orbs all the time. I am running curative undertow on hydroid, so don't forget nice. if you get really low or if you need some health you can come stand in the puddle. Stand in the puddle. Yeah, stand in the puddle, man. Uh, you have to max the Zaw to gain the ability to guild it, which sets it back to unranked. Yeah, exactly. Um... Brought slash weapons. 
Dang. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, missed. Did you over ninja? I over ninja. Actually, I kind of under ninja, to be yeah, honest. I know. Every time I call it uh, over ninjaing, technically I'm under ninjaing, so I don't know. Sick him, Corinth! Let's wind up a little bit. Let's bring out Slappy the Wonder Squid. Slappy, come forth. Oh, those are yours, right? There is a rogue one in there somewhere, though. Let's get it to power cells. Summon the reins. Yay! I love this shotgun so much. Who wouldn't want? Which who one? would? Uh, it's the Corinth. I mean, honestly, who wouldn't like a shotgun with a built-in grenade launcher? <laughs> True. I'm just saying. Uh, it is full. I'm going to do that anyway. I wind up and the pitch. Go over here. And pull one of these out of my hat. Oh, it's right over here. Wow. Okay. I'm going to bring some batteries over. Oh, wrong guns. Okay. Keep it powered and protected from enemy fire. I'm going to keep them out for a second, though. An artifact has been located. Proceed to the dig site. <laughs> I love these pistols. Okay, I'm gonna lock down. This doorway is not going to be usable after a second. Okay. Uh, at least DE is saying that your seats, uh, a percentage of your Cetus rep is gonna carry over to Venus when they bring Venus out, so. Yeah, honestly, and reading that, that, that was one of the only reasons why I really started worrying about rep again. Um, that, and I've got a couple of weapons that need um, some refined material that I can only get if I'm a tier 2 rep. I can't tier 2 uh, 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 with their rep for them. You, That's the only way you can get the um, blueprint for it. Yeah, I've been slacking on so, the, uh, getting my rep. Yeah, I'm going to try to get the tier 2 with them, get that blueprint. Uh, what is it? The Quark something? It's a four-barreled rifle. Oh. I have that blueprint. I just can't make it because it requires a metal that needs a crafting blueprint that is tier 2. Like, rep with them. Yeah. Um. Let's drop this here. Here. Over here somewhere is a battery. I see it on my map. I think we're going to get a lot of clutter on the floor. Yeah, the battery. There it is. I'm bringing more power.
Oh, there's a whole bunch of stuff over here. Bring the tentacles! Yeah, I've been doing some of the fishing. I've got two of the fishing spears now. Um, I still need to get an upgraded mining laser. Uh, I just need to do a little bit of it, but... I will state that the whole gilded thing just turned me off of Zaws completely. Well, the thing that's really annoying is pretty much all the stuff from Stetis. The Zaws and the Amps require you to get rep and gild, and gild them before they, you can do really anything with them. Okay, I'm heading to the next uh, location. Oh, here it is. Not very far. Sorry, I was... Having fun killing things? I got too into killing things, yeah. yeah. I can't help feeling like Dex Fura sounds like one big bullet spitting raspberry. Yep. When you can fire it, get the fire rate so high that you can't tell the individual rounds being shot. Uh, it's like buzzsaw <laughs> mode. I love my Dex Furus. I have a uh, my, um, ribbon for it, which makes it dumb. My uh, brasser is almost like that. Yep, okay. Drill's full. There's nobody over there. I don't know I'm worried about it. Mm -hmm. Have tentacles. We'll travel. Fish frames as Heart of Dragons. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I have upgraded to the second spear and the second mining weapon, mining thingy. Yeah, I have the second spear. I still have the first mining weapon. The second mining thing is so much better than the, the first oh, one. Oh, is it? Yeah. You know what? Let's summon the Kraken. Right here! Oh, steel fiber upgrade, just what I've always needed. <laughs> okay. It's okay, we got this. My Keno just told me that my Warframe is strong. Oh, thank God. I was yeah. worried. I know, I was too. Dun, dun, dun. See, this is why me and Sice have always gotten along, especially in Warframe. Because we snark the same. <laughs> We are snark mates. You have to have a certain level of snark when you play Warframe. <laughs> yup. Go down here. Drop a Kraken. Another reason why I like the Corrent that it fits well with Hydroid, you can fire a shotgun round, or I mean fire a grenade round, right in the middle of the tentacles and it'll detonate and just kill everything. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Uh, Tonker's good for that too. Yeah, it is. I do, I think I purged my Tonka, I, Tonkor, I can't remember. Maybe I still have it sitting around, I don't know. But I have a Penta, so I mean it can at least do that. I have a grenade launcher somewhere. I still like my Zaw, my Zar, the uh, cannon. The third mining laser so is so much better than second. Do you have the third mining laser heart? The excavator has power. Find the cell. Uh, run out of power. Okay, I'm coming. That power. Clear out a whole room of bad guys with one grenade. Need more power. I haven't seen any power on the map right yet. Oh, I, there's some out here. I'm seeing some. Uh, oh, no, might have finished. Hooray. Yep. And we're backtracking. 
We're at what, 400 cryotic? Do you know how much you need? Lots. Uh, <laughs> I need lots. a Val I need a Valban Prime's worth. Oh uh, yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> I literally, I have one one blueprint for him, and I literally need nine thousand just for one, that one blueprint part. Did you get your uh, nitane already for him? Oh yeah, I've got. I've actually been stockpiling nitane pretty pretty decently. Um, so I've got I don't know thirty thirty five of that stuff sitting around. I probably need more, yeah. but you know. Uh, you need. Uh, I thought it, I, I think it's fifteen per part. I've already so, made some of his so parts. I, like so I, I have the, I think it's the neuroptics. I need to make oh, the, yeah, the optics, yeah. I think I have the neuroptics. Let's drop some rain on that hill. How about this, huh? And some up there. Have some. Oh, uh, you know what down. I discovered while doing this ad nauseum this recently? What? Uh, you can desiccate an extra power cell. Oh, cool. I guess I've never really noticed that. It's probably been a thing for a while, though. I think you yeah. just did that, as a matter of fact. Yeah, it's, it's pretty awesome when it happens. You kill one of those little flying guys, and they drop their battery, and then another battery just pops out of nowhere. Let's summon the Kraken! A little bit more rain. Now we just... Solve all the rest of our problems with grenades. <laughs> the other reason why I really like the Corinth is it's got per bullet uh, reload times, which means if you only have shot one round, it's got a really fast reload. Yep, it's getting busy around here. Ah, oh, crap, they're using this door too. There we go. Okay. So many batteries. I wish I could carry one in each hand. Oh. Yeah, that would be awesome. Here they go. But don't worry. As the map starts to repeat itself, you'll be happy that there's batteries lying all over the place. Uh, actually, uh, we need... Uh, first, let me drop some rain on the drill. Get some defenses up here, then I'm going to go fetch some of the other drill batteries. Uh, down here. Uh... Get another one of these bad boys. I remember bringing Necros when I was trying to do the Limbo quest because the enemy spawns are almost non-existent. Yeah, I think that was back before they supposedly fixed the spawn rates if you were doing it solo. Drop some rain. Make it rain. There we go. With the Corinth, you can either primary fire into the crowd, or alt fire over it. Really good gun. I think I've got either one or two forma in this, but it's not like it's not like a six forma gun. Like not yet, at least I don't really need to. Yes, look at the numbers. No rain. Let's go clean the clean the floors. Let's swab the decks. Yarn. Look what we just okay, pick up the battery. And all but. Got knocked down by something. Yeah, those ancients, they like to do that. Uh, let's drop some... Drop a barrage on the drill. Drop a barrage on that exit ramp. Something was over there. I don't know. 
Da -da. No, we didn't call for you guys. Nope, nope, nope. nope. Come back. You get some rain, and you get some rain. They need that. They need baths, man. <laughs> so much explode. Wow, these drills are going quick, man. Yeah, as long as you keep them up. Uh, whoop, wrong way. Um, coming. Usually what slows down a drill is uh, not getting the power to it and having yeah. it halt all the time. Thankfully, there's two of us, and I think we're going to keep getting spawned. I think it also helps that it's infested, because most of the time... When I stop uh, getting uh, power, it's usually on one of the other maps where uh, it's something non... Yeah, you just don't have enough people. Yeah, non-infested or something, you know. Yeah, it's pretty good. It does get a little overwhelming later when you start getting into, like, really long ones. Yeah. Like, the most I've done is, like, I've gotten up to 32 excavators, oh, wow. and it was crazy. It was just non-stop. I think I went to 16 once. That's about it. Nope. No, grab them. No, touch Although I will say, uh, if, you, if you stay, if you, if you grab the little uh, focus boosters when they pop, uh, this yeah. is not a bad way to get some... To get some to get some uh, focus for your 10 out. Yeah. Okay, it's puddle time. Time to pull the Kraken out. A little bit of rain on the side. Man. This mess just keeps on coming. Look what we just uncovered. Ooh. Axie A4. I'll take it. Okay, we have to move. And I am what's a good way? Let's go up. And then up again. Ugh. Yeah, up again. I think I only need one more part for Hydroid Prime, says Kugas, and then, uh, wrong, I only have one part for Hydroid Prime, okay. I'm hustling. I see it. It's all good. It is all good. I will say, man, oh, we got two going. Do we? Where? Yeah, I meant uh, see it. Oh, you ran through one on the way. Uh, I didn't even see me. I didn't even see it trigger. Yeah, wanna, it happens. You want me to go get it? I'm working my way there. Okay, I'm gonna stay on C then. Alright. Let's drop a Kraken. Give me that power.
quite the crowd over here. Yeah, I got a little rave going on over here right now. Oh, mine's done. Grabbing a power Where cell, coming to you. With you. <laughs> you low? Yeah, I'm low. There's not a lot over here. Okay, what? I'll watch the drill if you want to go fetch some from the adjacent, uh, where, from the last drill area, because there's a lot over there. Looks like we're full now, so we're good. It's only five seconds left on it. It's getting messy and noisy. Oh, delicious endo. Okay, um... I'm following you. I'm right on your tail. Your bony, weird-looking necro's tail. <laughs> they, they call him Bone Danny, Bone Danny for a reason. I should refer to you this, as... This is the new, uh... This is the new, uh... What is it? Grex skin? Oh, Grax? Yeah, I want to get yeah. the Grax skin. It looks awesome. Yeah. It does. I like it. it. Makes it look like a cultist of some sort. Yeah, that's why I wanted it. The uh, one for Harrow has the same kind of cultic look to it. Yep. Harrow is uh, one of my top fives. I love my Harrow. I could have brought him, too, honestly. Because I can, I can heal like a boss with Harrow. Plus, you know, energy. Uh, I don't... I don't worry about energy anymore. It's not really a thing to worry about with Necros if you're doing it right. The excavator has lost power. Find another cell. Find another cell under all of this crap on the floor. <laughs> There's one right next to it. Oh. I see more. They need to give the Warframe, they need to give the Tenno some more uh, dialogue options. Yeah, I'm I'm sick of mine already as well. Uh, there's, so, there's only so many times I can be told my Warframe is strong or I will learn from this, you know? It's like, really? I think they should start pulling lines from Neo from the Matrix. So periodically, it just pops in and says, I know Kung Fu, you know, or something like that. At least you have a good laugh. Yes, exactly. Excavation complete. Look what you found. Okay, that one's done. Let's drop some rain right there. Grab a cell. And head to the next one. Dun -dun -dun. I'm right behind you. And two power cells sunk into it right away. Protect the unit while it extracts the artifact. My client just hitched. Yeah. Oh, never mind. I'm back. I'm back. I don't know what's going on, but I'm back. Belgabor, what's going on? Bad Eximus, no donut.
Nope. Um, bum, bum, bum. Let's summon even more mayhem around this thing. Oh, something drains my energy. Ooh. Okay, fine. I'll bring some Tenno tricks out. Yeah, the, the energy drainers are like the worst. I, I still don't like them. Uh, Between I them and the, 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 like the Corpus Disco Jockeys that turn off your abilities. Yeah. I mostly just think it's kind of a cheap tactic in terms of game development, you know? It is. It is. The scanner has picked up a target. Go to the dig site. Oh, okay. Grabbing a cell. Going back to the other one. Oh, there's an A excavator. I'm sorry. I didn't see you start this thing up. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. It was really right across from where we were. Okay, I'm heading over to you then. Stuff's not dying in one grenade shot. They're getting better. <laughs> Your hard work has just there, been there. Okay. <laughs> They've become self-aware. <laughs> um, We're at 13. They discovered the they discovered the secrets of not getting hit. Cracking on the drill. I do think it's kind of cool when like the little Kraken shows up in the middle of the tentacles. Honestly, I kind of think it should stay there the whole time instead of gradually sink into the ground. I think it shouldn't start sinking until the power is over with. It's me though, you know? Yeah, I would give it some more style points at least. Oh, the drill is full. Okay. Eat Gurus! Let's see if I can wash away some of the muck around the drill. Nope, lost that charge up. Swab the deck. There we go. Next one's just down the way. Awesome. Grabbing a battery, heading to you. Grimtide, what's going on? They should make the Kraken Hydroids pet like how Korra has Venari. Yeah, be I think it'd cool, be interesting. Actually. I tell you what, I think it'd be interesting because you could make it to where it only comes out when he's in when he's in puddle mode or when he does the Kraken thing. It comes up above ground, but it's just not mobile outside of either being mobile in the puddle or you know I don't know. Make it only no, work it. work where his cool. powers are. I think it could be cool. 
I like the idea of the puddle in the water and the little shark fin comes up, you know? I think that's kind of cool. Okay, let's go back to shotgun, shall we? Um, let's see if I can clean up some... Who's shooting at me? Power is right at our fingertips. Okay, drill's full. Gonna drop some rain on it. Drop some rain on them. And then just crack in the whole area. There we go. All the pretty numbers. <laughs> yeah, there's something nice about getting a uh, an explosive weapon and hitting like a crowd and just seeing a field of numbers go flying up. Yep. Okay, we're going up here, right? Yeah. Okay, not far. I don't think. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe yes, why? Yeah, it looks like it's back uh, at the... Oh, not too far. Excavator is ready to go. Keep it powered and protected from enemy fire. Let's bust out some ball lightning, shall we? No, uh, knocked down. An artifact has been located. Proceed to the dig site. Let's drop a barrage on the stairs, right where the Kraken is. And we've got choke point galore. I will say, I've been, uh, I dusted off my mag and stuffed a bunch of Forma in her. Yep. And, uh, I've been having a lot of fun with Magnetize. New Mag is really good. I like New Mag. Yeah. I got the augment that lets you pop her bubble anytime you want and it explodes. And, oh. it, yeah, it, it's great. You, you drop it down at a choke point to fill it full of damage. You pop it. You do more damage. Okay, apparently I'm going to have to puddle and Kraken. Because they're getting a little violent. There you go, kids. Man, it is messy over here. Yes. Grab a, grab a power cell and I am leaving that party. I think with uh, just us two, I think right around 20, it's going to start getting difficult. I mean, technically, we could leave now if you want to. It's at a rotation. We've That's done true. 16. That's true. Yeah, it's probably better. Okay. Uh, I did just Excavate drop a drill, but I'm going to go ahead and head to the exit then. The yeah. The um, has up a go to the dig site. Oh, wasn't right. that far away. What, the exit? Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. I'm almost there. Oh, man. I never get the sword strike out. I come sailing down and it stops <laughs> at halfway. Let's see. 1,000 endo. That's not bad. I'll take it, 3, man. 3,000 cryo. 3,000 cryo is pretty good. 3,000? Yeah. Cryotic? I got 1,600. 100 for each. Oh, I have a booster on. Oh, okay. No wonder. Yeah, You're cheating. Uh, let's see. I, I always have a booster on. It's like, I just, I, I, I wait till I get that 75% off. 
and I buy a stack of platinum and I buy about, I usually buy like about uh, like 90 to 120 days worth of boosters. I'm going to rotate things a little bit and I'm going to bring out the crazy cat lady. Uh, yeah, I wanted to make some changes. I've been, I'm kind of leveling my sidearm, uh, the glass daggers. Oh, the, the fuselage of, or whatever they're called. Those are nice. They have a really high slash, so mm -hmm. I'm kind of filling well, those. Well, it's that alt fire thing I was talking about when I was using Ivara. You hit you hit your alt fire, and it throws out a burst of five of them in a spread, and those things will destroy a hallway. Oh, nice. Yeah, just a, a hallway pack full of dudes. You just alt fire, and it's just, everything's dead. It's really nice. Um, Yeah. Wait. Oh, yeah. Okay, awesome. This is the right build. One less. Darn it. You know, they've done a lot of overhauls in the UI for Warframe. I think there's one thing they still need to do. I want a way to move my builds. Like, if I have, let's say, you know, build A, build B, and build C on a Warframe. If A is always my default, but then it suddenly I'm using C more, I want to be able to swap those tabs. So the first one on the left is always the one at your default, you know? Does that make sense? What was that? I think it's the one thing they still need to do with the UI, where you can, you have the different builds for weapons or warframes, where you can switch positions. So you can move, you can exchange the A build onto the C build, and the C build will go to the A slot. Like on a, oh, you know, I, I see what you're saying. So like once you've built one, you want to be able to shuffle it around. Right, right. Move it to another yeah. slot on the on the same weapon. I think you should be able to do yeah. that. It's a that minor would, that thing. That would be nice. Yeah, it's, I, not, I would, it's not a game breaker. What I would like is the ability to copy config A onto like config B. Yes. yes, that would be good also. I just, sometimes I just want to make some minor changes, but I don't want to lose my current build. Yeah. <laughs> like, no. Oh. Um, Kuga says... Yeah, no, take your time, man. Take your time. Kuga says, uh, reactor get feels odd walking through a mission instead of sprinting. LOL. Yeah. Spy missions are weird. Yeah. They're always different. Yeah. Belgamore says, hell yes, I wanted that forever, or at least being able to copy one to the other. Yes. I think that'd be really nice, Belgabor. Also, do I have you on my Warframe friends list? What's your, what is your in-game thing? Is it Belgabor? Friends? Friend. Um, let's do add a friend. Let's see what happens if I tape out Bill Gabor. Bill Gabor. And, um, hi, I think I know you. Oh, it's X Bell Gabor. Oh, makes you sound like a spy or something. I'm X Bell Gabor. All right. Run request sent. Yay. I wanted to swip out to my death cube because I got this random desire to like make the most ridiculous death cube I could. I actually like the death cube. I think it's cool. I like the machine gun on it and you know some of the abilities it's got. I think it's a good sentinel. Yeah, I'm I'm forming it up right now. Because I wanna I wanna I wanna give it fire it up. And, Holy uh, crap, there it goes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's awesome. He's my little Rambo. <laughs> He's off to slaughtering. Here goes Venari. Okay. Um, I'm seeing power cells already. I'm um, thinking... Oh, we have to go up. Okay. Up. Everything dies. <laughs> Tell me if I need to stop and wait for you. Also, no, I'm good. I'm good. Oh, there's something to scan back here. Oh, there is. Hang on a sec. Do I have this one yet? I don't have that one. Okay, that's nice. Infested. Four dots out of seven? Yep, I already have this one. Jeez, we gotta go way... Oh, I had a battery, but I dropped it at some point. Oh, God. You okay? Lasers got me. Uh, <laughs> I was not expecting a laser. No one expects the Spanish laser. Uh the yeah. laser the laser inquisition. Let's go with that one. Um the laser inquisition. Yeah. Do you want me to switch uh keep Venari on attack or you want me to put her on uh healing? Enemy fire. 
Um, she's just gonna put her on attack. I don't think we're gonna have a healing. Plan. Okay, I because she'll still attack on attack on healing mode. It's just her priority is if you would get low on health or if I would get low on health, she'll, you know, whip over and. Um, I don't get low on health anymore with this with this build. Yeah. Okay, you're watching this way. I'm gonna kill cover. Um the excavator has freeze, dum dum. Find another cell. I'm around here somewhere, I see it. I got it. Oh, another battery. Pick him up. The scanner has picked up a target. Go to the dig site. Another one. And drills full. Oh, you're using the, the energy shotgun. That thing's pretty nice. Archiplasmor, yeah, it is. Uh, I have about like three or four favorite shotguns right now. The Corinth, the, and for different reasons. Um, the Corinth is good because it's got really hard-hitting single shot, but it's also got the grenade, which is really good, the grenade fire. Um, okay, I'm grabbing a battery, and yeah, okay, our next one's right over here. Nice. Um, this Archiplasmor... I mean, basically just disintegrates people, and it goes through crowds. Like, it's got an eight punch to Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's um, nice. And it's one of those shot. It's one of the weird ones that if you increase its flight speed, you actually get more range out of it. Yeah. Uh, let me think. Um, There's also the uh, Sobek. I have a uh, weapon, I mean, an augment that drops off Kelly to Thane called Acid Shells. So when you plug that into the Sobek, suddenly you can take out entire squads with it because one dude explodes in an, and when you kill them. and they It's like a combustion beam, but for shotguns, basically. They explode into a cloud of acid, and it's really nasty. Yeah, uh, I've been meaning to look at it. I um, The Sobek was like my primary weapon early game for a long time. Yeah. Like back when there was only a handful of shotguns. Um, it was that, I was just, that and, and Lino were like my mainstay for the longest time. Okay, drill's full. Let's drop some of that down and see what we can do. Yep. Only infested just lying on their sides, chained to the floor. Hmm. <laughs> That's the best. I really do love Cora. She is awesome. You know, I'm uh, my arthritis has been bugging me a little bit more in the last few months, so my aim is not quite as good as it used to be. I'm not quite the crack shot, which is why I tend to be using like um, Necros and relying on the pets, or like this chick Cora because I can do a lot of CC and shotguns, and Venari makes up for what I can't do. Uh, let me think. Um, Harrow, because you can do support with Harrow pretty easily if you give him a good weapon. I'm heading to the next drill, by the way. Um, Sorry, I was I was checking out that alt fire. I didn't even know that that existed for these. What, the fuse line? Yeah. It's nice. I like it. It uses up a lot of ammo to go. Oh, God, I'm going to under ninja. Nope, I got it. Yay! Okay, this is a bit of a trek, by the way. The next drill. Oh, yeah, I see that. Okay, oh, here we go. Let's see what you meant about that. Yeah. I'm like, oh, and there's I'm a captain. Ninja. Excavator deployed. Protect the But yeah, um... The problem, uh, the, my problem with, uh, is that I've kind of... I kind of have all those some muscle memory for how I get around a map lately. Yes. And, like, yeah, I'll, I'll see, like, suddenly there'll be a chasm and I won't be ready for it. <laughs> just yeah, go, they've, they've, they've changed up a few of the tile sets just enough to throw me off. Uh, but yeah, I, uh, have been using, like, a lot of shotguns lately, 
Um, the Sobek, the Archiplasmor, the Corinth. Um, let me think. There was another one that I've been liking, and I can't remember what it is. Um, I'm blanking completely. Here we have... Oh, there's a battery. Come here, you. I've been using a lot of Hydroid because Hydroid... Well, A, I just love Hydroid. He's silly. Um, and B, Hydroid has loads of AoE abilities for crowd control, for killing, for healing, whatever. And uh, that's been pretty big on my list lately if I can't do, you know, the pinpoint DPS kind of stuff as much. That's kind of why I've been liking Mag, too. Because, like, if I'm not feeling like being super accurate, I just <laughs> magnetize things and then uh, unload with my my uh, my Attica. 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 Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, that drill's done. That uh, next one's just right around the corner. Uh, awesome. Oh, over there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Got it. I brought a, brought a snack with me, too. Let's just put one of those down. Oh, yeah. I finally picked up health conversion. And yeah. Oh, I, that thing's great on Necros, isn't it? Yeah, it's just like Oh man. Where has it been all my uh -huh, life? Uh-huh. That yeah. is an that is an augment and a half for Necros. It is great. I love that one. I kinda hate dealing with Cephalon Simeras. I think he's a bit of a dork, but once you start getting stuff from him, like I recently got the one for uh what's the uh the scanner sentinel? Uh oh, uh you know, yeah, the you, one detect vulnerability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one yeah, exactly. There's an augment that after it scans a certain number of times, a bad guy a certain number of times, it will um, uh, start giving you vulnerabilities on them and stuff like that. It's really nice. You start getting hot spots on them. Yeah, Ooh. it's like having a pocket banshee. Yep, it's really cool. Spread isn't multi-shot, no, but the multi-shot projectiles overlap. So you can't see the individual shots as unless you put some spread on it. Yeah. Uh, I think heart is. I heard it on shots and went. Um, I missed the conversation. No headshots with Archiplasmor. That is 100% wrong. Kugas, you can get headshots with the Archiplasmor. The problem is that the bullets are so large. And yes, Helios, that was the one. Uh, the bullets are so large in the Archiplasmor, it is harder to get headshots specifically because it covers so much of the body. But you can, just like with a Scourge, you can get headshots with pretty much anything. Uh, if you try hard enough, you can get headshots with a grenade launcher. Let's throw some CC around. Okay, I'm gonna grab a cell, but you can get headshots with an Archiplasmor. It's 100% possible. Oh. I'm just going to sit here and whip these naughty men to death until they, until they die. Um, not really men, they're things. Okay. Heading to the next drill. You want to dive at 16 again, just like last time? Sounds like a plan. Get away from me. I got turned around. Don't touch me. They're getting handsy. Yeah. Bad touch. Bad touch. Bad touch. I need an adult. Okay. Excavator is ready to pass. Keep it powered and protected from enemy fire. Can you sit there. The Let's park that right there. Go to the dig site. It also drives me crazy when you're doing a mission Lotus, and the Lotus is all like, you know, there's some heavy people coming up. 
it's the Grenier, and you're like, really? You had to tell me that? Like, I didn't know that yet? I'm on the Grenier map. I've been killing them all. <laughs> There's Grenier here? The oh my god. Uh, I missed the memo. We finished our. Oh, never mind. Here it is. I was like, where'd the drill go? Did we finish it? No, no. It's, it's trying to hide. Um. My thing is they have announced the next, they have announced basically that trailer where it shows, uh, what's her name as a, uh, uh, shows space mom as a, as sentient or whatever. So the cat's out of the bag. Oh, you, have you, have you done sacrifice yet? Uh, yeah, I have. Yes. But that's not announced in sacrifice. That was just one of the trailers and stuff they put out on a dev stream. And, I know, and I know. a Tenno saying, uh, If you've done, if you've done, uh, if you've done, um, if you've done, uh, uh, the, um, the sacrifice, you already know that she's, a uh, sentient. Yeah, okay, I'm heading to the, oh, yeah, the other drill's just around the corner. Yay! Uh, but yeah, I mean, the cat's out of the bag that Space Mom is not who she is, right? I think Ordis can stop pretending and just go back to being uh. Ordis. Right? Yeah. I don't get why he's still trying to be foe space mom. Because it makes your Tenno feel better, don't you know? My Tenno could give a damn. Yeah, I will say, my Tenno does not care about space. I haven't liked space mom since ever. I just, I've always found her annoying. Okay, let's bring out the jungle like, gym. I, I was, I, I dislike Space Bomb so much that when they added orders to the game, I was like, yes, somebody else. Yeah, yeah technically we've known that since the, the, the Nata quest, yeah. And you know, uh, however, Headshot damage was removed in update 22 and returned sometime later. Oh. I didn't know that it was remo headshot damage removed on the actual uh, Arc Plasmor. I don't get it a lot. I just know factually that there have been several instances where I will have that, you know, one of my, my side quest objectives in a mission is to get, you know, 10 headshots or whatever. And I will get it accidentally with an AP shotgun, an Arc Plasmor. Uh, and I always find that humorous, but whatever. Um... Yeah, we've known yeah. Space Mom was a sent mom's a sentient since ever since the Nata quest. We just didn't get to see what she looked like. Right. So my thing is, we know Space Mom is gone now. And especially since they've shown what she looks like in that form. Oh, I need to get a battery and go catch up. I'm coming. I got sidetracked killing stuff. Yeah, it happens. Come on, Venari. Here, kitty, you kitty, kitty. And you just can't stop. Um, I don't see why Ordis is pretending anymore. The Tenno knows. I think the Tenno would probably get more annoyed with, um, with Ordis trying to treat them like a child. Like, you know, oh, they're going to get worried if the, you know, if Space Mom is not here or whatever. What is this thing? Oh, it's a sentry gun. Oh, yeah, you have that ship I don't. Put that there. Um. What is this? Oh yeah, elevator. Yeah. Oh yeah, that always gets me too when I see it. I'm like, what? There's something to hack? What? Yeah. Okie dokie. Got some right here. I just shot out of the sky. I'm looking for more. This is the kind of mission where I'm... Up. kind of mission where I'm glad... Uh, that I am not, that I, my webcam broke because I 
am concentrating a whole bunch and I stick my tongue out when I do that you like stick a cat. Your tongue out. <laughs> yeah. I get cat blap whenever whenever I'm a uh, concentration phase. Okay. I'm gonna drop that. There's Venari. Um, Your hard work has just grab a battery. I think we're on the other side of the valley now. Yep. And I'm gonna come over here and go jungle gym. Where come from? I am kind of looking forward to Railjack. Rail but I'm also kind of worried that Railjack's going to get, like, sidetracked in a way. What do you mean sidetracked? You know, kind of like how Archwing is just kind of thing. Oh, right I don't... There. I, I th honestly, I could see them focusing more on Railjack and sidelining Arkland. Yeah. Even more, you know? Uh, Steve Sinclair, I think that's his name, said in a tweet several times over the course of the last few days that Railjack will be solo player friendly. Yeah, to I, a certain extent, as uh, there's mods for your Railjack that are going to be clan research. Yeah. So, but you can solo plan. I did it for years, yep. just being a solo plan. It's actually not that. It's actually not that bad. Ten seconds on this thing. I'm gonna grab a cell and get ready to bolt. Oh, it ate my cell. Oh, rude. I'll grab a new one. Wait a minute. What? Looks like you're going the wrong way, man. I'm trying. I'm getting turned around. I saw the symbol and then it started moving on me. And I'm like, wait a minute, what? I was yeah, going one way. And sometimes. Then, yeah, and then it moved. I was like, oh. Uh. Okay, that excavator's down, which means they're going to put a new excavator field. Oh, no, never mind. I was about to say I'm going to run across one by accident. No, you're right behind me. Jungle Jim. That's Jungle James to his friends. Boilers do not get affected by my, uh, what is it called? Ensnare, my number two. Interesting. Yep, Archiplasmor, great way to clear out a hallway. It's weird. I'm kind of half paying attention. I keep thinking Fox must have a cold. His voice is very hoarse. No, that's <laughs> size. Bug Boar says, I hope you'll be able to hop out of the ship and fight alongside it, and not only in Archwing as a transfer medium for the ship invasion phase. Honestly, I think uh, it's yeah. going to be I think it's going to be either in the railjack or in the ship you're attacking. I don't think there's going to be any Archwing alongside it. At least not for a while. Maybe down the road. Whoa. You, if you follow their Twitter, they had a thing on about how they're actually doing the Railjack combat scenes, and it's really, it's, it's, yeah, it's, they're using, like, these small renders and stuff, it's, it's, yeah, I don't know how they're going to do Archwing with it. Yeah, I think when you do Archwing to transfer between the attack ship and the Railjack, uh, you coming? I think it's going to be just a cutscene. Oh, there you are. You know? Yeah, I think it's going to be an, ar an arc wing cut cutscene, basically. Yes. I don't think you'll have any real control over it. Keep 
picked up a target. Go to the dig site. We're at the dig site, lady. I remember when they first added this mode, and you could actually fail it by having the by having the uh, drills get blow, blown up. Yeah. And like sometimes when you decide it's time to leave, you would actually fail the mission just trying to leave. That sucks. Yeah. Luckily they realized that wasn't fun, so they stopped it. Um... Heart of Dragon says, I love when the objective marker can't decide which way it wants to go. I get to run in circles until I get dizzy. Yeah. Well, that's kind of a side effect of the procedurally generated levels. Yeah. The, uh, yeah, the pathing's not always perfect. Oh, it needs more power. I'm coming with the battery. The has run out of and it's full. Toss down some ensnare. Spread it around with some whips and kill some stuff also. Oh, it's right on the other side of the building. Okay. As soon as I can declog as soon as I can declog this door. <laughs> wow, that is one clogged door. I just turned around and there was just like all that poison stuff over the door. <laughs> yeah. They get jammed up real nasty like. There we go. Let's put down the jungle gym. So the monsters can play. That's what it is. We're, we're bringing joy to their life by uh, bringing our mobile jungle gym to them, you know? They look so... They've been stuck so, here for so long. They look so happy, don't they? Yeah, they do. Just bringing a little joy to some infested life. Jersey says it's a lot better than it used to be, at least. What? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, the I think you're constantly improving. Yeah, I, I think that it's the, the navigation and the, the the whole HUD thing has gotten a lot better than it has been, but you could say that about so many different aspects of the game. Okay. Everything dies. Right now. This side to Claire. I have to admit, like, as much as DE does do weird things like build a game mode and not actually get around to actually making it work right, they they do focus on making the game fun for people, and they do generally listen to their to listen to their community. I mean, I've been playing the game for five years, and even though I do rag on it a little bit, I, I still think it's a really a really great game. So. Okay, um, next drill time. I have a couple of issues with them and how they design their games, but it's like minor stuff. Like their definition of gameplay, of fun and progression, tends to be a bit too far towards the grind end of things for me. But I will readily admit I'm a filthy casual, that's fine. You know, that's not that big a deal. Um, I don't count that as them being bad game designers. They're just not the game designer style that lines up with my play style, and that's fine. You know? Um, the thing that kind of the thing that they do that aggravates me though, is on Dev Warframe, uh, the the Dev Frame, uh, whatever you know, streams. Somebody will ask a question: Whatever happened to such and such weapon from Dev Frame sixty two or whatever? And <laughs> and they'll go, what weapon? A shotgun that had pointy things on the end? I don't remember that. And a couple of weeks later they will dig up the screenshots and actually, oh, you guys were asking about this a couple of weeks ago. It's like they'll announce stuff as an upcoming feature and then forget about it. And that just drives yeah. me batty. Yeah. Well, 
But the thing is, like, they may forget about it, but they, if there's community, if the community actually latches onto it, they'll, they'll make an effort to yeah. review it and go back to it and see if they can do something for it. All that, and it's all, and it's free to play. One of the best additions they made, or changes they made to Korra, after they brought her out, with two of them actually, and they all have to do with her first power, is um, when you whip something that is snagged by her jungle gem, everything else that's captured by the jungle gem takes damage. Yeah, and I, I noticed they changed it, so now it's like a, it has like a chaining effect. Yeah, that's the second change is that if you ensnare a target and whip it, the, the whip spreads the ensnare, which is really good. Yeah. So I'm, I've, I've been very happy with her. Um, I liked her at the release. It just, they just made her slightly better. I finally got around to building her and giving and leveling her up. Yeah. She's I not still, bad. I still need to try and get an actual, the, the Kavats. Because I don't have those. I don't have access to the genetic whatever whatever. So I cannot have Kavat pets yet. I still have not done that after years. And I need to get down to doing that specifically because then I could actually have two cats with the cat lady. And I think that would be really neat. Well, I'm pretty sure you have the blueprint for the Kavat upgrade. Oh, no, no, no. I have the blueprint for the Kavat upgrade for the machine. Yes. Yeah. The incubator. Yeah. The problem is you have to get genetic samples and stuff, and I don't have any luck getting those in any so real. So the easiest way to do that is um, grab Helios yeah. and uh, go do void missions. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. I've been doing Avara and Helios and void missions and just sneaking around and scanning stuff, and I will do 10 void missions and not get a single DNA sample. It's just you have really, to scan the cats. really uh, bad, bad luck. Yeah, I know. Yeah, the cats have to spawn in the, the mission, yeah. and then you have to scan them. Come on, let me pick this up. Get out of my way, thank you. Because, yeah, I had a... Like, when I decided I was going to have cats, I basically just took Loki, did survival missions, and uh, uh, manually scan. Went around manually scanning cats. Yeah. Uh, we are on drill thirteen, which means we got three more, and then we did. Yep. We've been doing this for an hour and a half. Oh my gosh. Yeah, time flies. It's one of the things I like about Warframe is that, like, it's drop in, drop out, and yeah, you, you, you don't feel, you don't get to the point where you're you don't feel you don't you're never really like at a point where you're like twiddling your thumbs, you know. Oh, I'd like to log in and do some Warframe, but you know it's going to take me at least a couple of hours to such and such, and then I have to devote X amount of time to. It's not really an issue with Warframe. You can just log in and. Kill some stuff in one mission for 15 minutes and then log out. And while yes, there is a bit of a issue with grinding for resources, the the nice thing is that you you're always passively gaining resources. Yeah. You know? It's funny. The only resources I have ever really had problem with is nitane, and that's intentional, and I understand that. Yep. Uh, and cryotic. And then Cetus came along in the whole Plains of Eidolon, and suddenly there was this whole new scale of, oh god, you know, with the uh, resources, and oh, I have to go fishing, and I have to carve this glowing thing off the side of a rock or whatever. And yeah. It, it was just so different. It was such a change of pace in the game in terms of how you did things that it really caught me off guard. I really, really, really hope they don't add to Venus like the same sheer number of materials to collect. Um, they said that they're going to make these, the hoverboard is not going to be a deployable anymore. It's just going to be an item. 
And apparently at some yep. point they're going to change the arc wing launcher and the planes to be the same way. Which is, thank be God, because nice. it's super dumb that I have to build charges or something to summon that. Okay, that was 14. Yep. And right across the valley. Dun dun. Come on, Dirija and Venari. Dirija is pretty cool. I like the fact that he can, like, walk down stuff. Uh, I actually uh, bought Dirija when they first released it, and he was super OP. And they dumbed him down, and I kind of got pissed and shelved him for a while. And uh, then they kind of unnerfed him, and it got a lot. He got a lot better. Um, my only complaint with him is he's one of those ones that you really gotta give him his weapon. He doesn't oh. do well with with like other uh, weapons. Yeah, and while I do see that, that's a valid point. Oh God, I'm out of energy for some reason. Uh, and while I do see that as a valid point. The first thing I do when I equip a Sentinel is put that Sentinel's default weapon with it. It's just the way I roll, you know? I'm just defective like that. It's like, oh, you know, I'm I'm, I'm using Carrier. Well, he's got to have Sweeper, you know? It's just the way I think. Um, I, I, I typically use Sweeper or, um, or, uh, uh, the, um, the Death Machine Gun. Uh, yeah. Usually the two I choose from. Halted. There's some power. There's some power. Oh, it's full now. Stuff is not dying as quick anymore. Okay. Yeah, as I say, with just two of us, like 16 is about the, about the right area to be like, oh, time to get out, you know. Okay, I'm going to the next drill site. Yeah, I'm... I thought I was going to grab a battery, but apparently where I think the battery is, is not where the battery is. <laughs> as far as I understood, they realized they overdid the resources on Plains of Eidolon and will do better on Fortuna slash Venus. That is very I, good to hear. I hope so, so much. Yeah. Whoops. Right. They really need to go give the, the planes like a once over and clean up the, that whole mess. I wouldn't be shocked if they overhaul the planes shortly after they release Venus. That would be nice. Because right now, the thing, the thing that drives me most crazy about Cetus is I just, I, I rarely feel like I want to interact with it because yeah. of the, the amount of extra grind that's involved in all the aspects of it. Like, even just like, the thing that bothers me the most is the dividing up giving us two factions to grind in that thing, where you have the main faction for, um, for Seated itself, but then you have the, uh, the faction for the Operator, too, and it's just like, really? And the only way to level up the, the, uh, the Operator one is to, you know, go hunt those little blueberry dudes in the middle of the night. Yep. And it takes so many of them. So many. Get grabbed, son. Okay. Whoops. I can ball lightning up in this joint. What's the ball lightning coming from? Uh, Zeneric. The energy one. Oh, because you're doing the lightning dash thing. Okay, yep, the lightning yeah. dash. It's super nice. I like it, man. When they, when I got to some of the powers, it was like when they overhauled the focus system the second or third time or whatever, and uh, the current system, you know, they overhauled it initially. I was like, man, I'm not sure. And then all of a sudden, I discovered lightning dash and a couple of other powers, and I started to realize that there were actual operator attacks and stuff I didn't know how to use, that I 
didn't know existed previously. Suddenly, yeah, like, the light came on, and I just started using it a lot more. And um, you can clear a room real quick with a couple of those ball lightning shots. So um, that's a definite plus for me. Yeah, I'm working on Zinarek right now. Yeah. Okay. Time to hit the exit. Where's the exit? When they did the when they did the respec, I. Uh, I, uh, because I've been doing the healer guy all the time. Yeah. So when I did the respec, I just, uh, I just, uh, took all my points from the healer, maxed out, and bought the two waybounds from it. Yeah. And just switched over to Zenorex. See, I haven't figured out any of the waybound stuff. I've not figured any of that out yet. So with the waybounds, you level them up, right? And then they get to like, they're like, there's like six dots. Mm -hmm. The first five dots are to level it up. And that last dot, you need to get the best of the sentient core. So you got to go and stab an Eidolon in the face and do that until they drop what you need, uh, which is that pristine, super awesome core. And then you use that to unlock the waybound. And once you've unlocked the waybound, it shows up on the left-hand side, no matter what focus tree you're in. Ah, okay, that's cool. So, so heart... like the healer one, the healer yeah. one make gives me the ability to have my operator has more health, mm. which is a godsend. Yes. And when I pick up health orbs, I get more health out of them. That's good. Uh, heart of Dragon says Dirigid was my first Sentinel because he was the only one that didn't need nano spores to build. <laughs> um. Let's see, Belgabor says, it didn't feel that bad to me, to be honest. The only thing I found a bit annoying is the amount of top-tier gems you need for the Operator and Zaw Arcanes, but at least the first are powerful enough to warrant it. I think they had way too many. They have three or four different gems. They have like five or six different metals. All the metals have different tiers of refinement states, and the gems have different cut states. It's just nuts. I think they went way overboard. Hey, Marat. Well, uh, it's not as bad as it sounds. You basically, it's, there's really only two levels to like most of the materials. There's like an unrefined and then a refined type state for everything. Yeah. Uh, you only have one blueprint uh, for each material. It, but still, you have I, to gain so much of the low tier to make the high tier. I, yeah. I find it humorous. The thing that I mind the least, the thing that I actually enjoy the most about Plains of Eidolon is fishing. I, yeah, I, do, yeah. I don't know why I think that's funny, but I think it's funny. Um, I, 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 I do like it. So that's how I've been getting most of my stuff lately is I'll go in uh, solo on the planes and I'll go do fishing for a little while and uh, I'll fish in a pond for, you know, a little bit and then uh, I'll go to another pond, and on the way, I'll like try to get any material I can find. Maybe do a little, maybe do a little mining, find a new pond, fish for a while there. Night will fall. I'll go and look for those little blueberry guys to blow them up and get their cores. And I'll I'll, I'll spend like a day, just like yeah. I'll do that like on a weekend. I'll just waste an entire day just running around the plains. Uh, but still, it's just like <laughs> lungfish. It is, yeah, it is a lot of time. Yeah. Um, so real quick, I wanted to cover if anybody's co curious about the builds I've used this evening, like this is my Cora build. I do use rejuvenation on her because she is very much kind of a tanky thing to me. Uh, she's got 522 armor rating and it actually gets boosted even higher when the cat's out. Um, I have like a, a, an armor rating of 2000 or something like that on Cora with when, when Benari is out and active and it's kind of bonkers. Um, I went for extra reach extra range on this build because the the jungle gym that chain gym, uh, uh, construct her number four ability gets really huge and really tall and it extends the whip range that those chains will whip out and drag something in so you can dominate a huge chunk of the battlefield with this 175 percent range build that i've got um still need to get cora cora is great cora is dope i really like cora capabilities wise um, my Venari build, I like Venari. This cat has got twice as many hit points as I do. It has a base, <laughs> it has a base armor rating that is one and a half times what mine is. 
It is super tanky. It's got an 80% critical hit chance. It's got a 5.6 times damage multiplier, 330 shields. It does a lot of slash damage. Um, it will do swipe attacks that will hit multiple targets at once. Um, it actually has a plus 300% melee damage maul attack. Um, 300% damage bonus. Um, sharpened claws attack that also rips armor. Uh, pounce attack that stuns. There's crit link synergy, so uh, uh, Venari gets crit bonuses from what my crit rating is, whatever weapon I'm using at the time. Bite, uh, link health, so they're getting health bonus from me. A link armor, same thing. That's where a whole bunch of its armor rating boost is coming from. Shield, same thing. Um, scavenge, I just, that that polarity for that socket, that's the only thing I have that's really interesting to stick in there. So, uh, But uh, Venari can screw stuff up, and... It does a lot of damage. It will actually CC, stun, chain things down. It will do leaping whip attacks that will cut through about five guys at once. Um, you can also set it into mode two defensive and it will disarm bad guys. It'll run up to something, stun it, disarm it, and then go to the next one. And so you can take the guns away from like the Grenier or the Corpus and it's really cool. Uh, if you set it in mode three, it'll be attacking until a party member starts losing health and then it will find the nearby party member and put a health buff on them, a healing buff. And that healing buff actually does a lot of healing too. It's really nice. Uh, yeah. Belgabor says, Minari shreds things. Yeah, it's really nice. Um, Archiplasmor. Uh, this is the build I'm running right now and it's got 9,000 corrosive damage, 10,000 blast damage and 5,000 radiation. Uh, it's a really good gun. Uh, mine is status built, kind of, not really. It's mostly just built for raw damage. Um, I have a different build that's radiation viral. Um, but I'm, I'm, I kind of default to the blast corrosive a lot, most because it knocks crap down. Um, my Derija. Blast corrosive. If you can't figure out what you want to do, it's yeah. always a good choice. Just knock it on its butt and take its armor away. Um, uh, with Hydroid Prime, I have kind of a weird hybrid build. I don't actually have any range increasing on Hydroid uh, in my default build because I'm devoting space to Corroding Barrage, which I think is a critical syndicate augment for, for Hydroid. Um, it not only barrage normally knocks stuff down. That's a default. This means that they get knocked down and it strips armor and you can strip an entire battle. I mean, entire battle group, a whole squad of their armor in a couple of like, just a couple of clicks. It's really nice. Um, I also use curative undertow on him specifically because it lets me recover health myself when I'm in puddle mode. So I can, if I'm taking a lot of damage, I can go into puddle and heal up quick plus party mates can heal at the cost of energy for me but usually I've got so much spare energy on him that it's just you know it's no big thing um, but that that is the overall build that I use on Hydroid so um, we got about 15 minutes we could do something quick I'm not sure what though uh, I mean we could run over a little bit but Tell you what, let's bring out something really weird. You got an extra. Got a what? You got an extra. Um, ox. Oxygen. Oxygen. Looks like he's trying to join us for some shenanigans. Is he? Where is he? Right here. He's in oh. the voice chat. Oh, I don't have the bleep bloops when people come in and out. Uh, um, he's at menus. Let's invite. Uh, what kind of? He's what, not my friend. <laughs> That's that I'm I'm you know I'm not gonna judge. Um, I know. Seriously. Uh, Harrow? No, I don't really need Harrow. Nope, wrong button. <laughs> time you not a time Let's see my my Necros build. Um. There we go. Yeah. So this is my Necros build. Corrosive projection to drop armor on stuff. Um, I probably could swap in something else there. Oh, wait a minute. It's not mine. Oh, are you going to bring your Necros then? Blind Rage. 
This is my default Necros build. Um, yeah. Uh, no, I was just mostly looking. I, I don't know what we're going to be doing. I was tempted to actually bring Mesa. Just shoot all the things. Shoot all the things. Can you actually Forma? You can. You can Forma the Regulators. Son of a gun. I think I know what I'm going to do this weekend. Um. Oh, yeah. All the... All the... All the foreign warframes now that have um, their own weapon slot, yeah, their, their special weapon slot. You can now form and and mod them yourself now. Yeah. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna do. No, nope, where is? I went ahead and grabbed Frost. Um. I figured, um, let's see, there's Valve and Prime system, uh, alert up, uh, um, I can say with 100% certainty that the sun is not amongst Sice's friends. <laughs> that is so true. Yes, gentlemen, we must destroy the sun. I see that about once a week at least. Um, uh, he's well, lately I've just been doing the emoticon. Emoti yes, he's just, de he's devolved down to emoji now. Uh, um, <laughs> Uh, like let's see. Sun, gun, sheep. There is a defense, lith defense. Void Fisher would crack some lith relics. Uh, there's a Neo Exterminate. Let's see. Eh, not a lot of... I'll do relics. I'll swap out to something else. We're going to do relics, but I'll do relics. I figure it's that, or we go back to Hyrocon, but instead, uh, we use, uh, uh, we just stick around for like six or eight instead of 16. You want to do that? Yeah, go. Go cat. Go. 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 That cat no sounds so cranky. Yeah, let's just do another. We can do another round of uh, uh, cryotic, but we can just do, you know, we could drop out at like six or eight or something. All we right. Have to go to extreme. Anything dividable by four. Yep, basically. I have a gun sitting in the foundry. I can't claim it because I'm out of gun slots. I have too many things I'm supposed to be leveling right now, and I have not leveled and ditched. I know that feeling. <laughs> Yeah, Dark Preacher uh, says, Sun, gun, sheep. Sice must be up. Yeah. Basically. Yep. That's how he says hi, man. Yeah, I am I, I am not a morning person. And uh, I am not a person who likes lights at all. I can sympathize. I need to turn Onyx up. Kuga oh, says, yes, you need to level pasture. Yep. Boop. There goes oxygen. The target. Go to the dig site. All right, biologic attacks. Be ready. Dun 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 dun. I can't remember. Oh, Dirija. Okay. Yep. I was about to say I don't remember what what Sentinel I have on here, but. On a hole. Excavator is ready to go. Keep it powered and protected. I over ninja myself right into a hole. Yep, forgot how much I love this gun. It's kind of hard to use unless they're running right at me. Yep, I failed lateral moving targets in sharpshooting school in, in um, military, apparently. Grabbing Proceed. a battery, coming back.
Nope, you stay off that. Excavation complete. Look what we found. Okay, that was done. And they're right where we right up the street. Protect the unit while it extracts awesome. the artifact. I love me some Mesa. Some aim left in me. <laughs> it comes and goes. Uh, anytime I play uh, Mesa, like just spray and pray machine guns or shotguns, just kind of seem wrong to me. I don't know how to explain it. It's like if I'm not aiming down sights with her, I feel like I'm doing it wrong. No, I get you, man. I'm not saying you have to play her that way. It's just like, that's me. Well, her whole theme is that she's supposed to be a sharpshooter. Yeah, oh, crap. Yeah, let's pick this up. I said let's pick... Thank you. Come on, Mason. Can't see anything. The next one's right across the way. You want to go ahead and kick it off or what? Uh, yeah, we can help do that. It's early enough. <coughs> I'm going to throw a bubble on it. If you like it, then you should have put a bubble on it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to need some more batteries for this one I'm sitting on. I think. What is this, Charlie? Oh, Charlie's full. Okay. I'm gonna go back to killing things up on my perch then. Uh, Charlie's full. It's D that needs some power. You can get some drop and eight batteries over here. Uh, we got loads over here, Charlie, if Delta needs some. I love that uh, when they change Frost's bubbles so that you auto pick stuff out when you cast it. Yeah, the Frost rework. I really like his, the augment on the uh, uh, Impedance Ice Wave. Charlie's done. Coming to you, Oxygen. Right. There's a lot of dead stuff over there now. I'm gonna go, go grab some loot. Nope, nope, gotta go this way. I'm coming. Boing. Ah. Oh my 
mistake death for a flying osprey and wonder when your bullets are going to be within. Nope, you're dead. Ah. You're dead. You don't need that head anymore. So you need to die. I'm going to start the one that's across the way. Okay, I see some batteries. I'm going to... I said I see some batteries. I'm going to grab... There we go. An has been located. Proceed to the big site. Firmly in your hand. Periodically, Mesa just says no and doesn't pick it up. Oh, no. Mesa sprays and prays, all the prayers are answered, says Breach. Oh, that's funny. I need V7s. What? Well, the rare drop? Oh. Okay, that one's done. Coming over to box drop. Oh, there's a giant wall of fire. Yeah, just keep stacking up in the door so I don't even have to move my my sight. I'm not shooting fast enough. I must shoot faster. Okay, we're going back this way apparently. Dun -dun -dun. Not all her prayers, if she prays for more things to shoot, she eventually runs out. That is true. <laughs> Praying for more targets is kind of kind of counterproductive for Mesa. This stuff dies way too quick. Okay. Drill is up. There we go. Excavator deployed. Protect unit while it extracts the artifact. The scanner has picked up the target. Go to the dig site. Most for shooting for getting up here. Let's see if I can actually manage that now. Kind of crazy pulsing damage going on over there. I'm tempted to. Uh, all the bad guys go. I'm tempted to go wind up a second one, but we killed them all. They're all gone. Actually, I'm gonna do it. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. You should, yeah. We still run the second. Yeah, it's right here, and there's already, there's already a frost bubble here and everything, man. Excavator is ready to go. Keep it powered and protected from enemy fire. Holy crap on a cracker. Uh, I would not suggest that. I don't think that would go over very well. Holy poop on a biscuit. <laughs> oh, fell down a hole. One more to go. Well, we got beta going right now. Oh, 
so much stuff over here. You can't shoot that dang death. Okay, Eight. let's go hit exit. I want the uh, redneck voice pack for my uh, Tenno. <laughs> Tack us, we'll kill you dead. <laughs> uh, I'd pay good money for that. I know, right? Oh, I, I would. I, I need a. I need a redneck, and I need a valley girl. Like, oh my God, they're attacking us. Sean W. Com has subscribed with Twitch Prime. Thank you very much, Mr. Com. Or is it Mr. W. Com? Yeah, see, Kuga says I'd pay for that. I want the Valley Girl voice pack. Oh my god! And the redneck. We're gonna hurt you like so much. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. W. Com for sure. There you go. Um, okay. I say, I, I say we replace, uh, replace, uh, uh, the Lotus pop-ups with Eddie Izzard. <laughs> Take four days. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, Valban Prime. Yes. I still have to do more cryotic farming after the stream is over. Ah, uh, I'm not going to do it immediately after, but later this week, I'm definitely going to be going to be doing it. I need 9,000 cryotic for the chest. What other Valban stuff do I have? I've been prime stuff. Inventory. Valban. Valban. I already have the chassis made. The prime chassis. Got to make the systems. Oh, no, I'm missing two things. I thought I had the head. I do not. Okay. This is where I tell you I have like 44,000 Karatek just hanging out of my inventory right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, let's see. Stuff I currently want to make, but I'm missing parts on. I want to make... Oh, I can make the Zuge now. I wanted to mess with this. I need... Well, I need two Argon, but whatever. I have the Karatek for it. That was one thing I wanted to build. Um, I've never messed with it before. Vectus Prime, I'm missing the Vectus Prime receiver, and then I could build it. I have everything else. It's going to bankrupt me on Oricon cells, though. That pisses me off. I still need Fair Steel Alloy from the Plains of Eidolon for the Quartac. I want to make that thing. Uh, it looks dope. Um, let's see. Oh, hang on a sec. I have to... Oh, no. I finally Did I finally ditch him? I finally ditched him. As soon as you said you got your despair, I sold off the five blueprints I was holding. <laughs> I legit had five blueprints for despair that I'd been holding on. I just built up. I'd, I'd get an extra one, and oh, like a sixth one, and I'd sell the sixth one and keep five. Just to, I don't know, rub it in, just to be a jerk. Um, well, yeah, they drop more for everybody else for some reason. Yeah. Like, yeah. I think it's that founder's yeah. flag. It's a curse, man. Um, it is. I still need to get... A second Orvius blade for the Orvius. I have everything else, tons of everything else, except the Orvius blade. Because, I mean, I have to make this thing and master it. I may as well. Um, yeah. That sounds like Kuba runs to me. I like doing... Uh, actually, I was doing Kuba... What are they called? Hang on a sec. I have to go look at navigation. There's a quick thing for it now. Kubus. Oh crap, what is it? Let's go find the fortress. Here's the fortress. Kuba Survival. Yes, that's what it is. I love Kuba Survival. I am addicted to Kuba Survival. It is an awesome game mode. Um, I don't know why I love it so much, but there's just something about it that is super different from everything else. Maybe it's because it's Kuba and I haven't fought 
years Cuba bad guys for years and years and years, you know, or whatever. I'm not sure. But uh, if you notice, uh, if you look at the Orbius, I have 99 Orbius discs. And I'm sitting on <laughs> I'm sitting on 28,000 Cuba. And I have one Orbius blade. Guess what doesn't drop on the Cuba survival mission? The Orbius blade. It's kind of dumb. Anyway. What does um, it drop on? Uh, I I actually don't even know. It drops on one of the other missions that's got uh, that's uh, it's like either uh, um, defense or mobile defense or exterminate or something like that. But it's basically it drops somewhere in the bottom half of the uh, fortress, and all the stuff I do is the top half of the fortress. So yeah, the blade should drop off the uh, the guardians, the vulnerable ones. Yeah, I'm I'm hitting the web page right now. Yeah, it actually doesn't drop off the uh, Kuba Guardians that spawn in um, Kuba Survival. Because they do spawn there. But, yeah, it's really weird. Um, I think of Prime Gauntlets. I need three of them. Why would you need three? It should only take two. Syndicate. Need one for Syndicate. Oh, yeah, yeah. Stage four, not even stage five, and I have yet to get a, have a single one drop. Yeah. The Syndicate stuff has changed quite a bit since I did it, so I have no idea what any of them are anymore. Yeah, they shuffle periodically as a frame or a specific part from a prime frame gets rotated out into the vault because the um, the relic it drops from gets vaulted, then they put something else in its place for the prime tribute item. So, yeah. Um, yeah, uh, the blades, according to this, should drop from the, the Guardians. They only have a 5% drop rate, though. So you I, have to murder a lot of the big fat dudes. I've gotten 28,000 Kuba worth of murdering fat dudes. Um, I'm thinking that there's a couple of different kinds of those Guardians. Like, not obvious. There's like two different spawning types or something. And the ones that I need are either in siphon missions or something else that I need to do that's not survival. That's my theory, anyway. So yeah, I, I just need to go do some more Koopa Fortress crap. I need more cryotic for Valban uh, Prime. And I need to farm some. I need to do some relic cracking. Maybe we should do that next week. I don't know. Or that arena thing you were talking about for Endo. Actually, you want to try that next Wednesday? The arena Endo thing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah it's supposed to be pretty good for Endo. Okay. Um, the I'll idea work, is... With, I, I with, can work with on my Nidus build. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a Nidus. You need a Nidus larva build with high range. And uh, just three generic uh, despo uh, despoiling necroses. And yeah. You use the you use the nidus to pull everybody in, and then everybody hits it with all their all their slash weapons and yeah, all the nidus's proc and loot rains from the heavens. Yeah. You know? One drops from the guardians, and one drops from the jesters, if I recall correctly. Says Belgabor. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, depending on how desperate you are, you can buy the blade from other players for like three plat. <laughs> That's true. Uh, I have two plat right now. <laughs> the, the other thing you could do is if you're gonna next time you go do some Uba stuff, take a um, take a necros with you. you know, always anything to, to increase the loot percentages. Uh, wife's going to bed. I'm going to call it here. Thank you very much, everybody. We're five minutes over. <gasps> um, it is Wednesday night. I don't think I know anybody that's streaming afterwards right now. Because Preacher would be streaming t at this time tomorrow night. Yeah, it was 6 a.m. Exactly. Um, uh, I am going to call it here, though. Tomorrow afternoon, I'm going to be dumb enough to step back into EQ1 with Eridani. Um, We are, for some inexplicable reason, having fun with a 20-year-old game. Um, and uh, then tomorrow evening is going to be more Coop Life 2 from the Coop Life 2 server. We're going to be working on the casino some and some technical nonsense that we didn't get figured out last stream. Um, I will see you then. Have a good evening. Thank you very much, Sice, for joining me and uh, Oxygen for stepping in at the last minute. Anytime, man. Uh, Kukas is watching Flame Goat on the other screen. I've learned there are certain people I can't raid because of the language barrier. Um, I did a raid on somebody uh, last week, and I got a lot of complaints because that person had a big potty mouth. So, raiding We All Playcast, yeah, they're not much better. They're nice people, but oh my gosh, they've got some language problems. Woo! They're a naughty couple. Um, anyway, um, I'll catch you folks later. Have a good evening and good night. Bye-bye.